Yo guys, what is up? Max here in a Borderlands 3 video and today we're doing something really cool, really awesome. I've, I've always wanted to do this and I didn't think that it was possible, but thanks to Kurzo who set this up for me. We are going to be ranking every single legendary weapon in Borderlands 3 today for you. We're going to be ranking them by my little personalized tier list here we got. That's a lot of damage. That's some good damage. That's some damage. That's okay, damage. Uh, delete the zero damage involved. No. <laughs> uh, really, really cool. Now you guys be like, how is he ranking every single weapon? Boom! We got every single legendary weapon. Uh, we got a picture of every single legendary weapon in the game. We are going to be putting this on this tier list. This is going to be something I'm going to be updating with patches and changes. Uh, and if you guys like this kind of video, we can do it for... Grenades, class mods, uh, anything you guys want. I'm really excited. This will be a new thing that we can do on the channel. This video might be kind of long, so we may split it up into two parts. This may be part one, because there's there's a lot of legendary weapons, guys. Uh, but my experience with the game, I have about, if you're wondering why I can rank all these weapons, I have about 45 days or so in Borderlands 3. It's a lot of days, uh, and I've used every single weapon here on this list so i'm gonna be ranking them for you guys really really excited with that let's get into the ranking oh one other thing if you want to hit subscribe it really helps me out uh, we are on the road to 50k if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe uh obligatory youtube thing i gotta say let's get right into this so the first weapon we have is the bitch now the bitch oh and we're gonna be talking about mayhem for i have a lot of energy today <laughs> a lot of energy uh the bitch is a hyperion smg Returning from Borderlands 2. Common trend here is Borderlands 2 weapons. Not so good. Uh, except for, like, Maggie Lauda. But the bitch is a very, very accurate SMG. It shreds on non-mayhem levels, but on mayhem for the DPS that it outputs is not great, even though you can put a lot of headshots on. So I'm going to be placing this in that some damage. It is a solid SMG. Uh, we're going to be trying to base everything on its mayhem 4 viability. Next, we have the predatory lending. Predatory Lending is also a half period SMG. This weapon, if you didn't know what it does, it shoots money. It takes your money from your actual like money on your character and uses that as ammo, which is cool. It doesn't actually use ammo, it just uses money. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it doesn't do very good damage. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it in that's okay damage. Okay, the next weapon we have is the Amazing Grace Legendary, uh, Jacob's Legendary. Quest reward, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, quest rewards, kind of trend with them, is they're hard to get anointed, really hard, especially if you're on PS4 or Xbox. Cool weapons to mess around with in your playthrough, but when it comes to Mayhem 4, which is once again what's we're ranking things on, uh, it's not great. So I'm gonna put it in, that's okay damage. Next, we got the Atlas Carrier Assault Rifle. I freaking love this thing. Now, it's one of those weapons where if you're not using it properly, it's not that great. But, if you have the right skills and the right tools for it, we're gonna... You're gonna do crazy damage. Uh, it's one of the fastest melting weapons in the game if you're using multiple elements on it because of the way multiple projectiles work. Because of that, we're gonna put it in... I'm gonna say that's good damage because it isn't inherently overpowered, but it is ridiculously good once you figure out how to use it. Next, we got the uh, Bangarang TD or Legendary Pistol. Uh, not a big fan of TD or pistols in this game. They were sick in Borderlands 2. They're not so great. So I'm gonna put it in that's okay damage. Mm. It's not zero damage. Okay, it's not zero damage. Uh, next, we got the Baby Maker, also a uh, returning Borderlands 2 gun. Not so great either. That's okay damage. Ooh, 9 volt next. Uh, the 9 volt is a very cool weapon. It unfortunately chews through ammo. It doesn't do that much damage, so that's also gonna do go with the uh, that's okay damage. Next, we got the Barrage. Barrage, Doll Assault Rifle. It's mediocre. We're gonna put that in that's okay damage as well. <laughs> Now, now this weapon. Okay, so next is the ASD. Uh, booty, 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 booty sniper. Delete this. Zero damage. <laughs> no. No, thank you, ma'am. Uh, ooh, the backup. 
The Becca is a sick weapon. Um, really, really good weapon. We're gonna we're gonna try to reserve the that's a lot of damage for like the truly top top tier weapons. The Becca is really really good, but I would put it in the like Papa's tier. Uh, I'm gonna put it in that's some good damage. Once again, uh, all of these are my opinions. If you don't agree, that's fine. <laughs> but these are my opinions. All the torque pistols in this game look this freaking same. I swear to God. All right, next on the list is the Breeder uh, Torque Pistol. Torque Pistols in this game are a little, little hit or miss. Uh, there's a lot that are just kind of like, in my opinion, they're kind of all the same thing. The Breeder, I'm going to put in that's okay damage. Next, we got the Conference Call. Ooh, baby. I love the Conference Call. Conference Call is really, really good. Uh, it's the best against large enemies because of the amount of bullets it puts out and the large spread and the ricochets that the conference call does. I would put it uh, up in that's a good day, which is definitely better than the bitch. Uh, it fits in with these categories of weapons for sure. Next, we got the uh, Bearcat. is a great weapon to sell to vendors. If you have a Bearcat, sell it to a vendor and you'll get money for it. Uh, awesome weapon. Ooh, the Brainstormer. Ooh, the Brainstormer is, the brainstormer is a top tier weapon. Uh, we're going to put that in that's a lot of damage. It's a great weapon on all characters. Regardless of who you're using, the Brainstormer itself doesn't do great damage, not a good single target weapon, but the thing that this thing could do against mobs is really, really cool. One of my favorite weapons. My favorite weapon before I found out what a recursion was. Now I'm a uh, recursion through and through. I identify as a recursion. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, next we got the Dying Breath Assault Rifle. I'm gonna put that with the bitch, kind of similar. Uh, they both output solid DPS. Did I say Dying Breath? Breath of the Dying. It has a cool effect where it shoots out green orbs when you kill an enemy that do some damage. Uh, better damage than the actual gun itself, but it's kind of underutilized. Not so great right now. Next, Creeping Death. Uh, cool weapon. A newly added weapon. Uh, can't actually kill an enemy on Mayhem 4. Pretty sure you can't kill an enemy with the Creeping Death. So yeah, that's fun. Crossroads. Crossroads is an awesome SMG. It was my favorite weapon in the game until it got nerfed until the Tri-Roads. And that one is commonly preferred by me as the Tri-Roads. No longer Crossroads. Only shoots three. Uh, it's good weapon still. I'm going to put it with these three up in the That's Summit Damage. Because it shoots through ammo. It does good damage, but there are better options than it for sure. Okay, this is Damned Assault Rifle. Uh, it's booty. It's booty. Um, I've never really enjoyed this weapon. I think it's not worthless, but it's it does okay damage. Uh, Destructor Spinner, solid weapon. Better than these things down here. So we're gonna put that in that some damage. Next, we got the Devastator. Devastator is actually pretty good on Moe's. Uh, if you're not playing Moe's, I'm not a big fan of it. We're gonna put in that some damage. Doubles for some. It's good at getting your shields back when you're using a transformer. Uh, doubles for some. It's either that's some damage or that's okay damage. You're gonna go in the, uh, that's okay damage. Ugh, people will not like me for that. But, okay, that's some damage. Next, we got another Torrid Pistol. Oh, they're so unique. The Echo. I did no. That's okay damage. Face Puncher. Face Puncher is a weird one to rank because it works off of melee damage. So like inherently the gun isn't good. But if you're using it on melee Amara, uh, it's okay. Not so great on Mayhem 4. But if you use a white elephant, you could put out some stupid damage. Uh, I'm going to put that in... That's a tough one because it, like, it needs gear to do any sort of damage. I think that's some damage. I think that's the fair place for it. Phaser. Yeah, phaser uh, is okay damage. It's not great. It ain't great. Oh, the musket. Musket's that some damage. The musket can do some cool things. Uh, it can crit as a flamethrower. Gatling gun. Uh, Gatling gun's going in that some damage. It's pretty dope weapon on flak. It's fun to use, but it's definitely not as good as the Becca. That's a fair place for it. Uh, this is the Girth Blaster Elite. Um, if you want to get blasted by some girth. It, it's it's a nerf pistol. It does, don't do anything. Handsome jackhammer. Handsome jackhammer is pretty solid. I'm gonna put in that sub damage. Uh, handsome jackhammer when you throw it does a bounce like a jackhammer, and you can throw it on top of some enemies to do some solid damage. I wouldn't put it up with the tier of these weapons, but it's pretty solid. Next we got ooh that's a head explosion. Head explosion is is good, dude. Um. I would rank it probably the second best sniper rifle. So I'm gonna put the head explosion in. That's some good damage. Hell shock, uh, fire shock pistol. Uh, 
Splash damage Malawan is not so great. Not so great. The Hellwalker's tough because it's an awesome freaking weapon. And I would probably put it in between that's good damage and that's some damage. Like a little bit in between. Uh, people are going to hate me if I... Mm, don't hate me, by the way. Um, Hellwalker in... That's some... Um, that, what would I put it? That's good damage. It can, it can, it can screw up some enemies. That is it for the rankings today. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to give me some feedback. I've uh, never done anything like this. We got a bunch more weapons to review, but I think we saved that for part two. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Let's do this again. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace!